Welcome back to my channel. Today I am bringing you my rice water routine. This one I made over a month ago and I'm just going to be showing you how I put it to use. If you would like my ingredients, I'm going to put it in the description below and I will put the directions on how I do that. And in the future, you're definitely going to be getting a video step by step on how I make it. So this has been in there for about a month now. What you're seeing here is water that was the rice was washed with mixed with a little bit of rosemary that you're seeing down here, and then I have a grapefruit peel as well. This one is my favorite, favorite, favorite. I used to just be the type that would just wash the rice water and then let it sit overnight and ferment or whatever, but now I'm more serious about it. I let it ferment for an entire month. So I hope you guys enjoy. All right, so basically all I'm gonna be doing is taking my pitcher and taking the rice water and just pouring it in. It smells like grapefruit. So now that I washed my hair with the rice water, I'm going to leave it in for about 20 to 30 minutes and I'll be back to rinse it out. Okay, so now that the rice water has been in for about 30 minutes, we are going to rinse it out. So I just filled up my pitcher with water. And don't be alarmed, that's just my hair dye being rinsed out. <laughs> So now I'm going to pour this out and rinse one more time. Okay, so this is how my hair is looking. So now what I'm going to do is add a little bit of product and detangle it. You want to make sure that you're moisturizing after a protein treatment. Because a lot of people say that their hair is like breaking off or whatever from doing too many rice water treatments. It's because it is a protein treatment. If you use too many protein treatments, your hair can turn brittle and you will need to moisturize. So you want to make sure you're balancing that protein out with moisture. I'm not really sure which one I'm going to use yet. but. Usually I use my flaxseed gel for every day, but since this is a protein treatment, I do want something that's going to give me a little bit more, a little bit more moisture, so I may end up using the curl enhancing smoothie. I haven't decided yet, so. Okay, so what I decided to do was moisturize and then detangle because if you try to detangle after using your rice water treatment, your hair is really fragile and brittle right now, so you want to make sure you moisturize before you detangle. So I'll show you guys how I do that. So basically I split my hair in half and then I split the half in half. So the product that I'm going to be using is my beloved flaxseed gel, like this. <laughs> and I'm just going to be taking it from the root and just pulling it all the way down to the ends and then we're going to detangle the section. Now that I detangled the section, you're just going to repeat it to the other three. now and these are the finished results I just wanted to show you guys real quick we're about I think probably like 98% dry there's like a little bit of damp spots here and there but for the most part it's dry so I definitely would recommend like a some sort of deep conditioning treatment afterwards but I didn't do it I would definitely recommend if you can like if you have any deep conditioners do that like right after the rice water treatment. The reason that I didn't do that is because I just wanted to show you guys basically 
bare what it will look like, bare minimum. So all I have in here right now is my flaxseed gel so that you guys could see what the raised water would do. With the flaxseed, as you can see, it feels a lot more strong, a lot shinier, a lot more bouncy, and I'm very happy with these results. And yeah, I just wanted to show you guys real quick. I hope you enjoyed this video, and make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and click that bell notification to see whenever else I post. See you next time. Bye!